Rodeo's here. No sign of any other ones, though. Thank you for all you are doing. Carefully injured as best you can. I'll find Kochi and the other monks and return them safely. I promise you, the invaders won't stop our work here. Lord Sakai! Norio, where are the monks from your temple? Hochi and his followers came down from Cedar Temple to train healers in the village. Mongols kidnapped them. They took nothing else? Hochi went peacefully, so they spared the village. Slaughter those who resist, reward submission. Cotton's favorite tactic. He should not have gone along with them. He gave himself up for the village. The Mongols will be back. All he did was delay the end. Then it's a good thing you and I are here. Any idea where they went? They rode out past the tea fields. Let's pick up their trail. We can't let them harm the monks. The Mongols will keep them alive for their medical skills. I'm sure of nothing when it comes to the invaders. They came this way, past the tea fields. Look for tracks. I have goods of all kinds. An excellent choice. Just for you. Thank you. I Lord Sakai, I found something. They went toward the swamp. Come. 
It sounds like you and Hochi have a history. Hochi always complained that my brother was too eager to fight. Was your brother violent? No, but he was always fearless. When I was a child, the older boys in my village bullied me. That must have been a long time ago. <laughs> Many meals ago. One time, the boys stuffed me in a millet sack and tried to hang me from a tree. Enjo pretended to be a demon lurking in the branches. They never bothered me again. Bravery takes many forms. Hochi thinks warrior monks are driven by anger and hate. But when I swing my Naginata, I sacrifice the few to save the many. And I do it without hatred. There they are. Stay here, Norio. I don't want the monks to get caught in the middle. Samurai who rose from the dead. Is Hochi with you? Hochi? No. But one of us broke loose. The invaders chased after him. They'll be back any moment. Road Sakai! Mongols up the road! Norio? You're alive! Stay back, all of you. Hochi, a different group took him. Norio, they knew Hochi's name, and they mentioned Sira Temple. Lord Sakai, why would they separate Hochi from the rest? He's the most skilled healer. They might have plans for him. He also likes to argue. You think he angered them? Knowing Hochi? Yes. Don't jump to conclusions. First, we need to track him down. Give me time to figure out where the Mongols took him. I'll meet you at Akashima village. 
We'll find him, Norio. Refugee camp. So say you scope us and meet me here. He is not here. Maybe someone has seen him. Thieves and murderers are everywhere. But the bandits preying on Hiyoshi are worse than the invaders. The worst one can do is take advantage of their own people. A woman at Ketchy Fishing Village lost her whole family to the fiends. I'm sure she'd appreciate the comfort of a samurai. <gasps> I'm looking for a samurai, an archer. The sensei headed toward the coast. He said you should catch up with him too. Join the hunt, and you'd know what that meant. Go, he's in trouble. survive. You should have waited for me at the camp. I had a lead on Tomoe. I couldn't risk losing her. Were those her archers? One of them shouted my name. More on the way. Tend to your wound. I'll take them. Had you surrounded? Tomoe taught them well. That's not why they outmaneuvered you. If you have an insight, 
Share it. You didn't notice them because you were too focused on finding Tomoe. Even I make mistakes, Sakai. No, you don't. Except with her. Hmm. We should get moving. What do you know about the camp? Archers, for the most part. Tomoe has been seen with them on raids all over Akashima. She won their trust. She's a useful tool to divide and conquer, for now. Tomoe betrayed you before she sided with the Mongols. But you never told me exactly what happened. She used my teaching to help a band of assassins. They paid well. It still doesn't explain why she attacked you. Sakai, how does a samurai deal with an assassin? You retaliated. You attacked her. I dealt with Tomoe as I would any common murderer. She was your student. I don't make exceptions, Sakai. First, Hironori Nagawa. Now, Tomoe. Don't be the next to disappoint me. What's that ahead? They hunt people for sport. Not sport. Practice. They're ruthless. Indulging violence weakens the warrior. Like too much food or drink. <laughs> you said Tomoe traveled to your dojo to study. What did she do before that? Her mother belonged to a merchant family in Inugi. She never knew her father. Why do you ask? Killing is not learned overnight, even for a prodigy with a bow. She was born with a taste for bloodshed. More of Tomoe's work. Their archers hunt the people of Akashima like dogs. Tomoe and her allies are too hungry for violence. A killer masters a weapon. A samurai masters himself. You've devoted your life to mastering the bow. To the bow, yes. But not to killing. Now you're splitting hairs. I've tied a wounded man to my horse with a bowstring. Used an arrowhead to cut meat when I had no knife. You're saying a bow is more than a weapon. And a samurai is more than a killer. <laughs> We can't win Tomoe back. We have no choice. We have to kill her. I trained her. I share the blame for her actions. I will end this. You only share the blame if you encouraged her thirst for violence. I made her my student. I should have seen the darkness in her. You didn't see it. And that scares you. Uh, it bothers me. We're nearly there. We'll approach this like Fort Nakayama. Observe the camp, look for weaknesses. Make a plan of attack. That's right, Sakai. Look twice and shoot once. We will go on foot from here. I hear them. Definitely a camp for training archers. Training to fight samurai. We will give them more to learn. Mongolian-style archery. A hybrid. Tomoe is teaching them. We take the camp, then find out where she is. The moment you attack, my arrows will strike home. Look down now! Back up! 
Castle Canada. There's no fluke. You are improving. Tomoe is not here. Let's make sure. Look around. A supply list. Japanese bows and targets. Delivery locations all over Toyotama. She's setting up more training camps. One in Otsuna, another in Kushi, and more planned. A message in Japanese. What does it say? Great Khan, conqueror of Tsushima. Before the year is over, your archers will know all I do about killing samurai. And I would deliver the heads of Sensei Ishikawa and Jin Sakai. Don't worry, it was here. I gave her everything. And she threw it away. She's a threat. There is only one way this ends. I know what must be done. Knowing and doing are different. You are questioning whether I am samurai? Tomoe was my greatest achievement. But if I must, I will destroy her to save this island. That is my duty. The list we found. We will use it to track down the other camps. And we will end Tomoe's treachery. Sakai! You are a fine warrior. You could become a great leader. But do not question my integrity again. Kenji, what are you doing? You have stumbled 
On a perfect opportunity, my lord. Down this road lies an enemy camp stuffed with supplies to feed, clothe, and heal dozens, hundreds, and the Mongols left! <laughs> it's a ripe plum just begging for it! What are you not telling me? This is a simple situation. No Mongols, lots of stuff. Help ourselves, help the people. <laughs> <sighs> On the slim chance some good comes of this. Lead the way. I knew you'd understand, Lord Sakai. How did you find this camp? I've been following these guys for a while. They're so arrogant, they leave their camp unguarded when they go on raids. Then who are you waiting for on the road? Who, who, me? Uh, uh, nobody. Oh, I was on my way to the camp when you happened by. There are survivors taking refuge near the Yarikawa stronghold. They need supplies. That's exactly the people I'm trying to help. What did I tell you? So beautiful it makes you weep. Look around. Gather what you can. Plenty of food here. Fish, vegetables, rice and millet. Japanese, not Mongolian. They're learning to like our cuisine. The man who's going to end Kenji's life. You left me here to die. No, not true. I brought help. Meet Lord Sakai, also known as the Ghost. One of you explain what's happening now. Kenji set me up is what's happening. It wasn't a setup. The Mongols were supposed to pay for this stuff. Only they didn't. And then they took my friend Nato here hostage. They were supposed to pay for this? Hear that? They're back! Please, cut me loose! Where did you get these supplies? We stole them from Straw Hats. Oh. Lord Sakai, can you distract the Mongols? So you can escape? Not exactly. I have an idea. Trust me. No more ideas, Kenji. Just take your friend and go. Thank you, Marcinta. See you also. Kenji's friend, you can come out now. It's safe. Over here! We are locked in! Lord Sakai, get us out of here! 
We thought it would be safer in here. Put them in lock. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Yes, thank you. You know what happens now. <laughs> I'm going to ride that Sakai barrel all the way to... Kenji, I think he's angry. Lord Sakai, our intention was always to gift our gains to the survivors who need it most. The camp outside the town of Yarikawa. Gather everything you can. And when I visit that camp, I'm going to find it overflowing with food and medicine, correct? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. told you this was a bad idea. What's bad? It worked out perfectly. You call this perfect? The Mongols are dead, the Straw Hats are dead, and we have what we want. I mean, the survivors camped outside Yarikawa have what they want. Quickly, Nobu. Walk through the middle of a siege? We'll find a way. They'll kill us on sight. We got you out of Asmo Bay. And I almost died. <sighs> so... Jin, you made it. Why are these people outside the town walls? The Mongols have surrounded Yarikawa. No one can get in. Recruiting Lord Shimura's old rivals was never going to be easy. But now... Now they need allies too. Think about it. We help them drive off the Mongols. And they help us. I need their word before I fight for them. And we can't even get into their city. Yes, we can. There's a hidden entrance. From when we were children. Even if it's still there, we can't reach it. It's worth a try. I know a place we can scout for a way around the Mongol siege. It's strange being back after so many years. Everywhere I look brings back memories. I try not to look so hard. Were you here when the Yarikawa Rebellion broke out? No. We left years earlier, when we were children. Did your parents move you? Something like that. That doesn't sound good. They're heading for town. Let them pass. They're clear. This way. I don't want to see this. We've seen worse. But this was home. Sooner or later, everyone has to return home and confront their past. Our home. Surrounded by the enemy. Got it. 
Aikawa doesn't stand a chance. You know, where's the hidden entrance? See that river near the town walls? Get us that far, and I'll do the rest. We can't sneak past an army. And even if we find an entrance, what if the Mongols see us? We'll sentence the town to death. Taka, I stake my life on your metalwork. Now it's your turn to trust me. Yes, my lord. I don't see how we can make it to the river. We'll find a way. The walls won't keep this many Mongols out. Azamo Bay fell. Yarikawa will too. I know these people. They'll choose death before slavery. They'll take the fight to the Mongols. Draw them off. Please. No. Taka's right. Too risky. The hidden entrance used to be over there, behind that white tree. Let's hope the Mongols haven't found it. We just have to find a way through the camp. Once we reach the water, it should be easy to find the entrance without being spotted. That's our plan? Sneak through the biggest Mongol camp I've ever seen? Then hope the secret entrance we used as children is still there? Stay close, Taka. Count on it. Let's go. Can't believe I'm risking my life coming back to this dump. This was your idea. I need to prove my worth to your uncle. Earn us passage off this island. I loved it here. You were too young to know how it really was. Mariko was an ugly place for a girl without a handful of rice to her name. Is that why you left? No. I got us in trouble. It wasn't your fault. Are you sure this is a good idea? Be ready to run. Chiharu! Huh? Bit pirik, what's a hirk? You spot some good shoe. Chiharu! You want to get us killed? Let's go. I can't believe I'm risking my life coming back to this dump. This was your idea. I need to prove my worth to your uncle. Earn us passage off this island. I loved it here. You were too young to know how it really was. Yariko was an ugly place for a girl without a handful of rice to her name. Is that why you left? No. I got in trouble. It wasn't your fault. Chiharu! Huh? just very sir! You want to get us killed? Let's go. I can't believe I'm risking my life coming back to this dump. This was your idea. I need to prove my worth to your uncle. Earn us passage off this island. I loved it here. You were too young to know how it really was. Mariko was an ugly place for a girl without a handful of rice to her name. Before you left? No. I got us in trouble. It wasn't your fault.
Hindwan! Arjun! Arsen who nigan hurt us! Oto hook said on samurai! Her ten penal, you marker! Yav chihut, gish de bolgomste! Ahadu terbo, hook de bolok no! Can't keep going. Just follow Jin to the river. Then Nigam would so, Yasum Bay. Then the man, Archin. He's a Nigan Archin. Look there in most summer like near Dutska. Dragonflies here, didn't we? We pretend one was a Yarikawa samurai, and the other was a, a... A Shimura samurai, and Shimura always lost. Interesting choice. Good use. Probably why they've held out this long. 
When we get up there, let me do the talking. It's your hometown. Who are you? How did you get in? My brother and I were born here. Did the Mongols see you? No, but we're here to help you break their siege. First, tell me the name of the dead samurai you stole your gear from. He's not a thief. He's the ghost. The ghost? I'll take you to Ujimasa. But mind your step. We're all armed here. So run and tell the steward! Right away! Ujimasa? That was the name of Lord Yarikawa's youngest son. But my uncle disbanded their clan when he defeated them. The family still runs things here. Unofficially. Your uncle put down a rebellion and created a generation of people who hate Clan Shinra. The Mongols are crossing the bridge! You three, follow and stay close. What's going on? A disturbance at the main gate. That can't be good. It's their leader! Are they going to attack? Let's find out what they want. Armar Min! People of Yarikawa! I am Temuke, leader of this war band. I learned your speech, so I may offer you a future. Open your gates before my camp flies the black flag, and you will know great mercy. Refuse, and you will know terrible misery. Choose your future, Yarikawa. They're leaving. Let's go. If Yarikawa surrenders, Lord Shimura won't get his army. Don't worry. They're too stubborn to surrender. If they don't, it will be a bloodbath. They need my uncle as much as he needs them. United, we can beat back the invaders. People here have bad memories of Lord Shimura. If they're going to survive, Yarikawa needs to let go of the past. Easier said than done. Ujimasa knows you're here. You two go ahead. I want to check on the swordsmith. Lord Sakai. Ujimasa Yarikawa. I never thought Lord Shimura's nephew would be responsible for the ghost. You best be careful, or he'll punish you. As he punished my once great family. For inciting rebellion against your Jito. That was years ago. We've all got bigger problems now. Who's this? Your servant? I was born here. Yet you're aiding Clan Shimura. No, I'm fighting for Lord Sakai. For the ghost. We can help break the siege outside your walls. In return, Lord Shimura requests your help. <laughs> the Mongols want to conquer the mainland. They will lose interest in us. And Yarikawa will survive. Like we always do. That could have gone better. Let's find Taka. Ujimasa is a fool. He can be convinced. The whole island's burning, and Yariko was next. If that doesn't convince him, nothing will. Taka used to visit this swordsmith every day. If there was any leftover metal, he'd let my brother pretend to make swords. The swordsmith remembered you? Shinsuke passed away. That's his son. How did it go? Ujimasa thinks they can outlast the siege. The smith told me all the best archers left to fight the Mongols, against Ujimasa's orders. They've been missing for days. If we find these archers, they may help us break the Mongol siege and win the town's support. Meet me in old Yarikawa when you can. We'll look for them there. Show Yarikawa how to fight back.
Shinsuke's son still has the rock. The one you used to hammer out their swords? It's so small. In my memory, it's huge. You spent hours with him. I'd have to drag you away. One of Tomoe's training camps is around here. <clears throat> ah! The ghost! Don't kill me! What's going on? Take whatever you want. I'm not a thief. Uh, everyone knows you're attacking caravans. The ghost and the demon Sensei. Sensei Ishikawa? That's a lie. I've heard you myself. Heard us? When? Not long ago. Tearing up the road like starving wolves. How are Sensei Ishikawa and I being blamed for highway robbery? Head north. Find out who's responsible. Sounds like trouble. Sakai! Sensei! You're welcome, Sensei. You're the ghost. What happened here? His caravan was ambushed. Lots of attacks lately. People say you're stealing supplies. ...or sided with the Mongols. Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I caught up to his group too late. Saved him, but not the others. Where was he ambushed? Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. That makes sense. What's wrong? Nothing. She has me off balance. We'll put an end to that. Rest here. Eat the food I gave you. And wait a while before you leave. Thank you, Sensei. Show me where he was ambushed. Yeah. How did you find me? Someone heard a convoy being chased. People avoid the roads because of Tomoe. When I caught wind of a merchant chancing a supply run, I followed. We're here to find and destroy Tomoe's training camp. But 
the safety of the island is our priority. I don't see how those conflict. I was trying to save that convoy. You could have easily caught up to them. You used them as bait. So what if I did? That's a dangerous path to travel, Sensei. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. Then she betrayed me. And after me, her home. I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. There's the convoy. And more victims of Tomoe. Let's see what we can learn. It's a warning to the people of Kushi. From Tomoe. From Lord Sakai and Sensei Ishikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads. On pain of death. Crude, but effective. No other survivors. Japanese and Mongol arrows? Of course. They took off down the road. And we'll find them. This is the last time Tomoe and her men will ambush anyone in Kushi Prefecture. Come. Out here. Quickly. There's no time to scout the camp. Now who's rushing in with his Hakama half tied? Why is she here alone? I'll cut her loose. Help me! You're going to be all right. What did she say? She said I could live until the samurai came. No! On the ledge! Tomoe set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. I spoke with her two days ago. Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and report back. You did what? It could have gone the other way. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Your uncle, me, Masako Adachi. But only a child expects perfection of his elders. Finish your thought, Sensei. We all carry weapons. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Not everyone can be a samurai. But we're all killers. We still have a camp in Otsuna to deal with.
You Lord Sakai! And Lan is the one who saw their camp? That's right, Sensei. Sakai! Sensei Ishikawa, is all this Tomoe's work? She and her Mongols have been busy. A woman here named Lan knows where to find her. Lead the way. How does she know where Tomoe's camp is? She stumbled on it while foraging in the woods. She's lucky to be alive. Everyone with her was killed. Is your name Lan? <sighs> yes, my lords. The Mongols who did this to you, they were led by one of our own. Tomoe, I'll never forget that face. She used to ride with... A group of thieves who lived here. That's not possible. Tomoe is from Umugi Prefecture. She found her way here. Her bow terrorized Utsuna for years. People used to say she could knock a falcon from the sky, blindfolded. This camp you found, where is it? The forest, southwest of here. The... between the river and the western shore. Damn her. The lessons I taught her, the secrets I shared. Oh, wasted. You old fool. Why does she lie to me? Tomoe never told you any of that. Before we fought, I offered to adopt Tomoe as my daughter, make her samurai. For someone like her, that's quite a change in fortune. And I took it away. Because she's a hired killer. Because her sensei failed her. She fell back into the life she knew. It's one thing to wreck your chance at a better life, but to terrorize your own people. I am aware, Sakai. Are you? Can I count on you to do what needs to be done? We have a camp to find. We need to stop Tomoe before she takes more lives. No. The good news is Tomoe fell back to a place she knows, because she's desperate. She has the Mongol Empire on her side. The more we damage her efforts, the more likely the Khan withdraws his support. We could use that to our advantage, drive a wedge between them. What if we did, and Tomoe abandoned the Mongol cause? If she was willing to fight back against the Mongols, we could use that. That would be useful, until the moment she put an arrow in your back. The woman we spoke to said Tomoe terrorized people here. It must have been years ago. Tomoe would have been young. In her teens, and holding her own among bandits. Hmm. Difficult for someone twice her age, and you never suspected anything. When she began her study with me, she hid a small blade in her sleeve, and she secretly hoarded food. I can see how you could overlook those signs. <sighs> there were others. I wanted to make her my heir so badly, I blinded myself to the truth. The camp should be nearby. Perfect terrain for archers lying in wait. Keep your eyes open. Dismount here. Stay low and find a good place to scout the camp. Up here. We've seen this before. What do you see? Japanese arrows. Of course. 
bodies used for archery practice. Tomoe's signature. Shut this camp down. Keep your eyes open for Tomoe. Ready when you are, Sensei. I'll stay heated until you strike. Sensei, over here. The sensei and the ghost. I'm getting tired of it. Your archers are dead. It's over. Ambush. Go after Tomoe. I'll hold these fools off. Tomoe, this only ends one way. There's nowhere to go, Tomoe! You need to work harder, Lord Sakai. Where's she going? Tomoe! So you're Lord Sakai. The sensei's new pet. And you're a gifted archer who had a chance at a better life. And threw it away. Is that why he told you? Tomoe, why are we talking? So I can warn you to watch your back. My sensei tried to kill me. He'll try the same with you. Thanks for the warning. But I'm here to end this. It's already over. I have nothing. No one. Put the bow down, Tomoe. Has she lost her mind? No sign of her. I should tell Sensei Ishikawa.
thriving in the dark. Idle blades grow ever dull. Answers never found. Sakai, what happened? Tomoe could have killed me, but she didn't. You let her get away. She jumped off a cliff. I saw her. You saw what she wanted you to. She sounded desperate. She is, because of us. Why does she think you'll turn on me? She doesn't. She's trying to drive a wedge between us, and it's working. No, it's not. Good. But the next time you wonder if I can do what's needed, ask yourself first. Tomoe isn't finished yet. I guess they shall go north to curry favor with the Mongols. We'll find her.
Omi village. Home. No sign of Mongols. Where is it? How dare you! Oh, young master. I feared you were dead. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. It's good to see you, Yuriko. You look tired. Are you hungry? Not now. Thank you. The Khan's army must have marched past here. Have you had any trouble? A few bandits. Nothing I can't take care of. I've come for my father's... My armor. You refused to wear it at Komoda Beach. A lot has changed since then. I hid it somewhere safe. Come this way. These old bones. I'll get Taichi to help me fetch it. He's at the cemetery. What's he doing there? Tending the grounds. Gathering plants for my poisons. Keeps vermin out of our food stores. I'm glad you're not alone. What about Lord Shimura? Alive. The Mongols captured him at Komoda. But we freed him. Oh. Others survived. And they're helping you? A few. Lady Musical. Good. She's been fighting alongside the boys since she was knee-high. <laughs> You'll have to tell me more about that someday. But it's just the two of you? A few others. Sensei Ishikawa. I haven't seen him in years. Does he still act like he's the only one who knows how to do things? Half the time he's right. But his aim is unmatched. He would certainly agree. Lord Sakai, you're back! I wish I could stay, but I hear you're taking good care of Yuriko. You've got that backwards, my lord. Taichi, help me get the Sakai armor. Go. I should pay my respects. Light for my father.
His grave close, his soul distant. Now I am alone. Almost inside, my lord. Thank you, Tai Chi. Jin, help me. Master? Are you all right? Yes, just lightheaded. For a moment, I thought you looked. Face us, coward! Get inside. Face me! I see him!
Is Yarikawa giving us trouble again? The Yarikawa Rebellion was 20 years ago. Those men were with the Mongols. Of course. Seeing you like that, I'm still shaken up. I need to catch my breath. By the lake. Your favorite tree. Yes. Come. You said earlier you've been making... Keeps the vermin out of our rice. Can you make it stronger? Enough to kill a man? No one deserves that. Can you do it? The effects in larger doses are ugly. Good. Oh, my lord. Sit with me a moment. Poison has never been the Sakai way. No Sakai had to fight the Mongol Empire. I need every weapon we have. Tsushima can't afford anything less. The Mongols have changed you, young master. The world has changed. My mother taught me about plants that heal, others that harm, even kill. But they must be consumed. How will you poison the invaders? A blowgun and darts. I've read of their use by a Genji warrior who studied with monks from the west. Will you help me? Promise me you'll remain the good man I know. I promise. I've looked after your every need since your mother carried you. I won't stop now. All I need is something to make a blowgun. Used to be plenty of reeds downriver, near the old crossing. Remember? You and your little friend gathered them to make little boats. Fuso and I, we spent all day reenacting the Battle of Dunnoda. Be careful, Jin. The invaders have an outpost there now. Don't worry, I'll be back soon with reeds. Go on. I'll be fine. Was right, a Mongol outpost. Fight thee! That's just that. We will know. She is a bad tiny op. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Wait, Han! Are you? Come on!
Hindwen, Perfect for a blowgun. I'll get these to Yuriko.
clear view, you wait. What's up, Irch Midden Serim Stepe? Alone in your world. <laughs> Yuriko? Oh. Excuse me, young master. You caught me thinking about Lord Sakai. 
I try not to do that. He loved you in his way. Enough of the past. We have a blowgun and darts. All I need now is the poison. Of course, young master. Come with me. I have a small camp where I gather plants and herbs for ointments. And poison. It kills vermin in moments. Make it strong enough for the invaders. Nice to ride with you again. You and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. <laughs> On that runt pony. <laughs> you sat so tall and straight in your little saddle. Like you were the Shogun himself. Jin. What's so funny? I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? You were three or four. The poor man was trying to teach you how to hold your wooden kodachi. You wanted to chase butterflies. I know the story. My uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. <laughs> Lord Shimura and your father laughed so hard, I fear they'd both choke to death. I don't remember my father's laugh. He lost his humor after your mother got sick. But you have your father's laugh. Here we are. A gozamat and a campfire. You sleep out here? <laughs> Only when I spend the day foraging for plants. I'll look for the flowers we need. Rest, Yuriko. I will get them for you. Don't eat the seeds, they're poisonous. I'm not a child, Yuriko. Oh, <laughs> I know. Gather flowers for your mother. She arranged them for the little alcove at home. That should be enough. Bring them to me, young master. Your plants. Good. We extract the seeds, crush them, make a paste, and dip the needles. Make sure the dose is strong. It should do what you need. It's done. You're sure he came this way? The old woman has a camp around here somewhere. Listen. Someone's coming. Stay there, Yuriko. Let's see if this poison works. He will regret what he did to Sadamune and the others. I just want his head, and the price that goes with it. How much farther? It's around here somewhere. Let me get it. Are you hurt, young master? Don't worry. 
I dealt with them. <sighs> sometimes I forget you're a grown man. I forget sometimes, too. We should get back to the estate. I'll stay. I need to straighten the place up. Don't push yourself too hard. Hush! You are not a child, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. What other kinds of poison can you make? Always so impatient. There is another. It causes confusion and rage. But the ingredients... What were they? Try to remember. It sounds useful. Good noble. I would be honored to work on your blade, my lord. Balanced, sharp, and deadly. Apologies. You don't have what we need to do the work. Goodbye. I'm honored to serve you.
one still lives. Thief. Looks like you attacked the wrong caravan. Stay still. I can end your suffering. No, my lord. I killed these bandits. And I won't stop till I've gutted the rest. Aren't you one of them? Not by choice. They forced me to join. Said it would pay my family's debt. After years working for them, I went home and saw they killed my family. Stolen all they had. I refuse to die until I've killed every last one. Those bandits have earned death, but you can't do it alone. I would welcome your help. My name is Gumio. Jin Sakai. Show me where the others are. I wish I killed them long ago. We'll do it together. Let's go. If you have information I can use, tell me. Of course. I know this camp well. They're outside the main camp. Lookouts. You should take them out first. That building near the water. It's where they keep what they steal. What's in there? That's where the bastards sleep. Is anyone inside? That belongs to their leader, Gorahachi. He's the worst of them all. It's a bigger camp than I expected. These bandits are a threat to the whole prefecture. Let's go. We're doing it! They're all going to die! Watch our back! It's Gomyo! I thought we killed him! <laughs>
still around. If I keep moving, he can't hit me. Next shot he takes. Check it out. You're down! <laughs> idea where they went? Hmm. Oh! Bastard! I'm glad I killed your family, Gomyo! Jurahachi! I'll take your head! I should have been dead when you first found me. You avenged your family, Gomyo. With your help, my lord. And now, I beg one last favor. Don't leave my body with this filth. I won't.
dice would suit you well, my lord. A samurai? Are you alive or a spirit? Alive. For now. And wondering what you do here. I fear the secrets of my dyes would go to waste. But a samurai lives. My colors are midnight. Trees blackened by fire. Eyes dark with yearning. Bring me the right materials. And I will clothe you, my lord. The darkness suits you. Farewell. I work on all kinds of armor. Much better protection. Thank you. 